Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really cheap and simple way to create a small hydroponic system and then I'm going to grow lettuce in it. We're going to use two solo cups and a net cup for this project. We're going to start by cutting one of the solo cups uh, about halfway down or so and then we're going to cut out the base of the cup to make room for our net cup and plant. We're going to use this piece of cup that we are cutting now as a sort of roof to suspend our plant over the other cup which will hold our water and nutrients. I've grabbed a small lettuce seedling here, it's about 8 to 10 days old and I'm going to use that to grow within this hydroponic system. As you can see the roots on the bottom of this are pretty long and are going to have no problem getting down into the water and nutrients that we will be storing in the bottom cup. Next I'm going to grab my neck cup here and thread the roots of our seedling through the bottom of the neck cup so they will have access to the water in our reservoir. If you're buying neck cups, I would suggest getting some that have as wide of an upper rim as you can find. This is going to help you to fit it into a variety of holes that may not be cut perfectly. And it's also going to prevent light and water from getting in and out of your reservoir. When filling up your bottom container with water and nutrients, you're going to want to fill it to a level where you're sure the root will be submerged partially into the water. You do not want the roots to be completely submerged as this will cause you to drown the plant. That's really all that there is to creating a simple hydroponic reservoir for a plant to grow. I'm going to show you now the progress of this plant over the couple coming weeks as this plant gets ready for harvest. I use a cut and come again method when harvesting these lettuce, cutting a couple outside leaves and leaving the plant to continue growing. This will allow you to get multiple harvests per lettuce plant. Let me know in the comments what you've been growing indoors and what other simple hydroponic solutions you may have to grow your food. 